Today, the Supreme Court makes Leland Yee supremely irritated. This is Checkpoint. Hi there, I'm Graham. And I'm Kathleen. Welcome to Checkpoint, where we are redefining hip and cool. As antonyms. High Lord of Albion and Fable creator Peter Molyneux said that Fable 3 didn't meet with his hopes and expectations, which then became our hopes and expectations when he told us about them, so we know exactly how he feels, because it didn't meet ours either. We feel bad for Peter and hope that someday he will overcome his crippling disability and go into his next project with lowered standards, so that one day a game will meet his expectations. Go in thinking it'll be crap, then we'll think it'll be crap, and we'll be amazed. Or right. Either way. Linux advocate and uber hacksman Geohot, George Hotz to his mom, has followed up his highly publicized legal trouble with Sony by getting hired by Facebook. So take this lesson to heart, kids. Don't hack Sony or the internet will rally behind your cause and you'll get a cushy job at Facebook. Ahem. Ubisoft has announced a new game for Wii and Kinect called The Black Eyed Peas Experience. I almost had a Black Eyed Peas experience once, but I managed to turn off the Super Bowl in time. My cousin had a Black Eyed Peas experience once, but after some chemo, he's doing great. I gave your mom a Black Eyed Peas experience. Then you were born. The UN still refuses to take a stand on the constant onslaught of Black Eyed Peas experiences that are being unleashed on the third world as we speak. And for only pennies a day, you too can stop the Black Eyed Peas experience. Please give generously. In the wake of fan outcry, Capcom is claiming that the inability to delete your game save in Resident Evil Mercenaries was not made to combat used game sales. They are, however, being weirdly guarded about why the decision was made. So we can only assume it's because they realize the game is so bad that no one will want to play through it again. RPG Foundry Square Enix is releasing an album of popular songs from some of their better known games demade into 8-bit chiptunes, seemingly ignorant of the fact that some of the music already was 8-bit. Dear Square Enix, we have this thing called the internet. If you just wait a couple days, someone else will make chiptunes out of your songs. In fact, they probably already have. The US Supreme Court ruled that a law making the sale of M-rated games to minors illegal was itself illegal by virtue of this thing called the First Amendment. Parents groups are horrified, gamers are thrilled, and gamers who are also part of parents groups are conflicted. But what does this change mean for you, the consumers? Paul? Uh, nothing. What? Well, if you're Canadian, this doesn't affect you at all, because one, you're Canadian, and two, selling mature games to minors is already illegal in Canada. But you do get all the French writing on the box, so hey, bonus text. If you're Australian, you won't get M-rated games anyway, so this doesn't affect you. You probably don't even know what an M-rated game looks like. Okay, that's cool and all, but what if you are American? Still nothing. Really? After all that, it seems like it was kind of a big deal. Now, don't get me wrong, it was an important decision. But all this really means is that the video game industry can continue making all the gore splattering games they want, and retailers can keep making the customer boning rules they want. GameStop won't sell M-rated games to minors anyway, and Walmart won't sell most M-rated games at all. So where could a minor buy an M-rated game? Probably at a small mom and pop gaming store, but those have basically been put out of business by GameStop and Walmart, so mission accomplished I guess? Okay, so we can just put all of this behind us then. Well, Leland Yee, the senator behind the whole thing, is petitioning for it to go back to the Supreme Court. Oh, that's nice. We wish him the best of luck. I'm sure the super Supreme Court is just gonna jump right on that appeal. Well, it's, it's good to see a senator keeping busy. It means at least he's not having any sex scandals. Yet? Coming up. LulzSec hangs up their top hat, monocle, and mustache. Hacking will forever be less dapper. Mm.